Are you ready? Billboard with Bud Light Can and LOL Crybabies Text Stems from Two Tweets By Shetra Krishnamurti Two Twitter posts consisting of a picture of a billboard showing a Bud Light can with the writing, LOL Crybabies, have surfaced amid the controversy surrounding Dylan Mulvaney. Bud Light's parent company is being subjected to extreme criticism for having the transgender influencer as the spokesperson for one of its brands, which has reportedly caused immense loss for the American beer brewery. While Bud Light or Anheuser-Busch haven't directly commented on the controversy, the U.S. CEO Brendan Whitworth issued a statement saying the brand's intention was never to divide its customers. And now, adding to existing furor is the billboard with a Bud Light can on display and a taunting caption. Billboard showing Bud Light can with, lol crybabies, text surfaces on Twitter. The picture of the billboard featuring a Bud Light beer traces its roots back to two Twitter accounts and it's not to be found elsewhere. Meanwhile, the account holder has claimed in their tweets that the billboard is Bud Light's latest campaign in the midst of the drama surrounding its old one. But, Bud Light did not officially announce any campaign following the one with Dylan Mulvaney to celebrate the influencer's 356 days of transition. The tweets in question do not share any further information regarding the location of the billboard or when it was put on display. The taunting text on the billboard seems like an attempt by the protesters to draw more criticism toward the brand for promoting inclusivity. Grove Media and HITC have reached out to Anheuser-Busch comments. We haven't received a response at the time of writing this story. Anheuser-Busch and its brands have fallen prey to numerous rumors. Since the drama surrounding the TikTok influencer unfolded, Anheuser-Busch has found itself on both sides of the ongoing debate, one that praises its support for LGBTQ and another that criticizes its supposed gender propaganda. In the last couple of days, several rumors about the brand have been perceived as true by news consumers. HITC debunked most of the baseless claims including the one that falsely claimed Budweiser fired its entire marketing team and another that spread wrong information by alleging the firing of Bud Light's marketing VP, Alyssa Heinerscheid. But, what started as a rumor about the parent company losing billions while being embroiled in the drama came true as a whopping $5 billion loss in market cap was reported. What did the CEO say? Anheuser-Busch's CEO has maintained the brand did not intend to divide America with Bud Light's campaign. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer, read Brendan's statement on the company website. Meanwhile, Alyssa stood by Bud Light's decision to support the LGBTQ community and clarified in her statement that her mission always was to evolve the brand by incorporating inclusivity. She explained, shifting the tone, it means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different, and appeals to women and to men.